the world certainly seems to have gone completely dark and therefore bringing light into the world is that much more important mm -hmm. because it's a dark world but we don't give up, we don't give in and we're listening to a lot of noise and we're bringing a lot of light in because that's what we do. Uh, do you have any uh, uh, apprehension about uh, bringing something so uh, freilich dick during a time of a uh, challenge, such challenge for the Jewish people in the, in, in the world today? Not at all. It's appropriate. Light and joy is going to break through all boundaries. The Lubavitcher Rebbe told us that even during the Yom Kippur War, that there should be some Torah, there should be rejoicing, and we mourn losses, and we're davening, and we're doing everything we can, doing mitzvahs to bring back our hostages. And even tonight, as you saw on this beautiful, incredible, joyous occasion, we spent a very good deal of time talking about what's going on in Israel, dedicating to what's going on in Israel, including remembering those that perished and, and davening and praying for those that are still in captivity and davening for the safety of the soldiers. And as much as that's true, we brought the joy of Hanukkah, because if we don't bring the joy of Hanukkah, then, then they win, and we're not letting them win. Is there a lesson in the story of Hanukkah for, to, to inspire people for today? You think uh, something about resisting the Hellenistic secularism? More, more and more people are wearing Jewish stars, are putting up mezuzahs now. They're, they're uh, cleaving to, to their faith. There's no question that the Syrian Greeks tried brute force to break the will of the Jewish people. It didn't work. On the contrary, it strengthened them. And the same has happened now. The Jewish people are strengthened like never before. We're unified like never before. And everyone is dedicated to mitzvahs like never before. So I think that this Hanukkah of all times is the greatest time and place and area to spread light. We're all doing it, and we'll continue to do it, and we're going to bring Mashiach, because if not now, when? Certainly it needs to happen now. Do you welcome support from uh, the non-Jewish public for Israel and, uh, and against this uh, anti-Semitism which is coming up from the Islamo left? Absolutely. We, we certainly welcome support from everyone. Normal, decent human beings have to be able to look and recognize evil for what it is and stand on the side of good. And anyone, anyone who can even the slightest waver in any way toward the other side, there's something seriously wrong with them. And a lot has to change to change those people. But yes, we welcome the support and there's tremendous support and we, and we appreciate it. You feel that the press is giving Israel a fair shake? The press will never give Israel a fair shake. The press, I don't know why Israel would bother to care about the press. Israel needs to do what they do and let the press do what they do and not worry about them the same way they don't worry about truth. Israel needs to not worry about the press. Israel, but, uh, but from Jews who are visibly orthodox in this time when there's so much uh, 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 incited uh, resentment toward, towards from Jews, you think uh, uh, there'll be uh, uh, people will be uh, hiding their Judaism? I'm sure some will. I don't think it's the smart move. I think, God forbid, if we hide our Judaism now, that becomes the norm, and that's where we'll be here. So if ever there was a time that we have to show our Judaism with pride, now is the time to show, no, we're not going to back down, because otherwise, that's where we'll be. So this is a moment where we step up, and even at whatever risk it may be, we don't fear, we do what we need to, and we walk the streets as Jews.